a final video for the time being anyway on uh, productivity I'll probably come back to productivity at some point I mean it's, it's a massive part of freelance life right the more productive you are the more profitable you are but this is something that is probably the most important element of uh, productivity because it won't just affect your business it affects every area of your life and uh it is something of a, of a cop-out, really, because this isn't like a productivity hack or trick or secret. The advice is just get a good night's sleep. Um, to improve your sleep patterns and how well you sleep will have a profound effect upon how well you perform. Not just in that how much you get done, but how well you perform tasks too. If you are struggling to sleep, if you don't have a good sleep, you'll make bad decisions, you'll do poor work, and you'll just become generally more irritable. Uh, I know this from vast experience. Um, but a good night's sleep. And when I say, you know, to sort of improve upon your sleep, I'm not talking about a quick 20 minute nap in the day. Those sort of naps aren't really good enough because they don't they don't drop you into that deep REM sleep where, you know, your your brain can really sort of shut down and analyse everything that's happened in the day. It, it, it's not it's not sort of it's not a restful sleep. What we're talking about is a good solid eight hours overnight sleep every day to wake up feeling refreshed, feeling good, feeling like you can do whatever it is that is required of you on that day. I'm gonna share my screen screen. I'm gonna share my screen very quickly. Uh, to point out two studies, which I'll link to below, uh, these studies mention two things, which is why this is, you know, highlights why this is so important for you as a freelancer and as a person. <laughs> and then I'll go on to some things that I found uh, really help out with getting a better night's sleep. So anyway, here's the screen. See, this is the first study, the cost of poor sleep, workplace productivity, loss and associated costs. The results compared with at-risk and good sleep groups, insomnia and insufficient sleep syndrome groups had significantly worse productivity, performance and safety outcomes. Oh, I think the dog's going to go off. Come here, mate. Must be a delivery. But anyway, so... Uh, People who have less restful sleep are less productive, have worse performance, and are less safe. Not really an issue for a, a freelance career. Um, the second one, and this is where this gets a bit more complicated, um, this was a study into what causes <laughs> um, poor sleep and how it is related to stress. And unfortunately, across the three types of poor sleep quality, work overload was positively associated with the frequency of poor sleep. So, if you sleep poorly, you perform worse at work, which will likely increase your stress. Which means that you will perform, sorry, you will have bad sleep. So it kind of hits that horrible cycle, a bit of a catch-22. Um, but genuinely, I think, this is a chicken and the egg, actually. Like, what do you solve first, the stress at work or the sleep? Uh, I would say the sleep. Uh, and I'm going to go through a few things now that I found have helped me. And a few things that are a little different to what I do personally, but that I've heard help uh, very well. Um, so the first thing is no laptop, no phone, no iPad, no television no PlayStation, no whatever, um, for an hour or two before bed. Um, I believe it's blue light, the kind of light that these things emit. Trick your body into believing that it is daytime and so it's not yet time to sleep, so it takes you a while to wind down from that. So, you know, if you've got your phone and everything near your bed and you're there and you're one of these people like my wife who's YouTubing uh, just before she goes to sleep, you will find it more difficult to get to sleep and have a restful sleep. Now, what I will say is, from my own experience and from what I've read, a Kindle, a Paperwhite Kindle, which is what this is, is fine because uh, it emits the, a completely different kind of light that doesn't sort of mess you up. Uh, but iPads, phones, uh, laptops, TVs, all of that, 
at least one hour before you actually want to sleep, don't look at them. Um, I find as well, before I go to bed, I like to have a really hot bath. I have scoldingly hot baths. Uh, it, personally, it's a very good way for me to relax. Uh, I'll often take this Kindle in the bath with me and read while I'm in the bath. Or I'll put some music on or I'll take the iPad in and put a really shit movie on in the background. <laughs> but, you know, just you know, just something that you can do to help you relax in that bath. I find it extremely beneficial. It releases a lot of tension that I get up in my upper back. Um, it helps calm me down. It's wonderful. Um, definitely try that hot bath. If you don't have a bath, hot shower. Um, in addition, I have a cup of tea before I go to bed. Now, what I should say here is that this is not a cup of black tea. This is not, uh, you know, a breakfast tea or anything like that. I have like a, I have a cup of peppermint tea because from about 5 p.m., well, from the evening really, so from about 6 p.m. onwards, I won't have any caffeine. I cut it, I cut it out from there. Um, I'm not a huge caffeine drinker. Since I became a freelancer, I'm drinking way more coffee just because I go to a lot of coffee shops to work. Um, but no black tea, no coffee, nothing with caffeine in from maybe six, seven at a push. If I'm working in a coffee shop late, uh, it just it just doesn't sit well with me. It gets me, it gives me the jitters and then I can't get to sleep. So I have a cup of tea though, I have a cup of peppermint tea before I go to bed. I take it, it sits on my bedside table so I'll have, you know, a book in one hand and a tea in the other and I'll drink a nice tea. Now I read actually that it, it was, I think it was Tim Ferriss um, who recommended, oh, what was it? It was like two spoons of apple cider vinegar and one spoon of honey in hot water is a great drink before bed because apparently it has some sort of knockout effect. I've never tried it. Um, but yeah, apparently that's worth trying. But I find a hot drink, like a hot tea, is very good at helping me calm down after my bath in bed, reading. And that's the last thing that I do is I read. Uh, I find it's a great distraction. The night where I've woken up at 3 a.m. or haven't been able to get to sleep until 1, 2, 3 a.m. are the nights when I'm worried about work. You know, there will be a stressor in my life, which I sometimes, as we all do, you know, you feel like you have no control over it, whether that client's going to sign that contract that you really need or want, whether that client that you've been working with for so long is going to turn around and go, this works shit. Um, whatever it might be, whether you're looking at what you've made this month compared to what you've made over the last six months and you've noticed a significant drop in your revenue, there's a lot of stressors that can pop up. And I've, I've had it. Um, where, you know, you're up until three o'clock in the morning and you're just panicking. I find that reading sort of distracts me from that. And I tend to do most of my reading in the evenings. And this is a personal choice, but I tend to read um, sort of books around copywriting, freelancing, business growth, um, all of these sort of areas. I read those earlier in the evening. And then when it comes to bed, I read fiction because uh, I'm a big fiction reader. And that's just more of a distraction to go to sleep with because if I'm reading a book that's given me ideas on how to improve the business, I also find it difficult to get to sleep. And actually, I was saying that that was the final tip to read, but there's actually one more, which is excessive drinking. I feel like I can say that because I'm a Brit and we do enjoy evenings at the pub. <laughs> I have the worst sleeps when I'm drunk. The worst sleeps. I mean, I'm getting a bit older now, so, you know, I st I'm lying in bed with, like, acid reflux and, <laughs> you know, early onset headache for the tomorrow's hangover. It's just such a terrible sleep, which is odd because when I was younger, I could drink so much and I would have the best night's sleep. At least I think I would. Maybe I was just so drunk I wouldn't wake up. But uh, by all means, have yourself, you know, a glass of whiskey, uh, gin and tonic or whatever it is, a glass of wine. I think alcohol in small amounts is, is, is good for you. It's, it's fine. A good few might be arguable. Um, but, yeah, don't make a habit of going out for big celebratory nights because uh, generally they don't lead to a restful night's sleep. But that's it. So basically that is the productivity tip is to 
improve your sleep. Uh, there are a couple of apps that you can use and a couple of um, products to help you map how well you sleep every night and then you can see how well on you're doing on how well you improve things. If you're very goal oriented, these are great. Uh, there's something called an aura ring, which I've heard many people speak very highly of. I've never tried one. I don't like wearing rings. I only wear a wedding ring because, I mean, you know, I have to. <laughs> My wife would kill me. But also there is an app somebody's rude outside there is an app called sleep cycle which i have on um, ios i'm not sure if it's on android i'm pretty sure it must be and this thing will you, you basically start the app before you go to sleep put it next to your bed turn it side down you set an alarm and then you press start and it will give you readouts of like uh how well you how well you slept so you can use that to sort of try and optimize your sleep uh, so that night it took me one hour and 10 minutes to fall asleep and i woke up at 6 30 and i snored for 17 minutes um but yeah it's a good app it's free there is a paid level to it i've never bought that i've only bought the free one but i'll drop a link to that as well down below but yeah that's it productivity really comes from you being on top of your game and the best way for you to be on top of your game is to look after yourself. And a big part of that is to just sleep soundly. Uh, those are those tips. I will see you soon.